Well, China is assembling a coalition of rogue states to upend the world order. That's according to Taiwan's foreign minister, who's told Sky News China's efforts threaten the future of all democracies. In the second part of an exclusive interview with Joseph Wu, he also revealed when he thinks Beijing will attack Taiwan. Minutes before our interview, news broke 38 Chinese military planes were detected near Taiwan over a 24-hour period. Days earlier, China wrapped a week of intensive large-scale drills around Taiwan, simulating an invasion. It's part of a relentless pressure campaign and further raises fears over what may come next. Are we destined for war here? Uh, I certainly hope not at this moment, even though we see that the, the tension has been rising and the conflict seems to be more likely and peace uh, is less likely to attempt. Uh, but we need to do everything we can to prevent war from happening. While some analysts predict a war within the next two years, the foreign minister told Sky News he believes 2027 is the year China may strike. It's when Chinese military officials said their forces will be strong enough to successfully invade and when President Xi Jinping starts his fourth term. And if he's not able to tell the Chinese people that he has established his legacy for the history of China, he might want to do something uh, as a surprise to the Chinese people. China sees Taiwan as a breakaway province. It aims to bring it to heel using force if necessary. Taiwan has increased its conscription period, toughened up soldier training, is securing more weapons from abroad and increased its annual military budget by nearly 15%. How many weapons, how much military hardware is enough? Or are you suggesting that we need to be in an indefinite arms race with China? Well, I would say that it might not be the best way to go. Uh, the Chinese military force is rather capable. Uh, I think it's uh, international public knowledge right now. Uh, and for a country to defend itself uh, is not to build up uh, something similar to what China is building up. I think we need to invest in smart strategy. We need to invest in asymmetric strategy. And at the same time, we need to increase our self-defense determination. And we have all been, we have been doing all this. A similar build-up is taking place in Japan, South Korea and, of course, Australia, as China builds a block of nations willing to support its agenda. Uh, we're concerned that uh, more and more leftist countries or some rogue states uh, that are aligned with China and they present to the international community a new problem. What China and Russia together represent something else. They want to destroy the rules-based international order. If threats turn into attacks, Taiwan will need allies to assist in its fight with an overwhelmingly more powerful foe. The United States has committed tens of billions of dollars in weapons and other military support to Taipei and President Biden has said US troops would join a war over Taiwan, but the White House walked back those comments, keeping in line with its official strategic ambiguity policy. While the French president recently suggested others aren't certain to join a war over Taiwan. Who do you think will actually fight alongside Taiwan if push, push comes to shove? What assurances do you have? Well, this is a very good question. Uh, a lot of people are debating on strategic ambiguity or strategic clarity. But to us, we know our own responsibility. Taiwan has to defend itself. The people has to, have to defend uh, the Taiwan, this country. And we are determined to defend ourselves. And we are not asking other countries to fight for Taiwan. A battle against Chinese interference rages. The foreign minister says China is already trying to manipulate presidential elections here, scheduled for January. But he's not concerned about a potential change for Taiwan's biggest backer. We always have very good relations. Uh, with the United States, no matter which political party is in power. Donald Trump's a friend of Taiwan? When President Trump was in office, we had very good relations with the National Security Council. We had very good relations with the State Department. When we had very good relations with Defense Department and other government uh, institutions. So we are not concerned at all uh, for anyone to be in office in the United States. Given Chinese actions and alarming predictions, Taiwan may need as many friends as it can get. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News in Taipei.